Good morning guys, happy Tuesday to you all and thanks for checking in to PK Garden Services channel. This morning I will be doing a very short term review of the Steel RM655 RS 6 Series petrol rear roller lawnmower. So I've had this machine on loan from a friend for about, about a month now. I've done only two hours with it, but I feel I can give a somewhat honest, somewhat detailed review of the machine. If you was on various types of lawns, um, various size lawns, including my, 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 my own a couple of times. So I'm going to give a little review of it. So this machine has a 21 inch deck. Um, it's got a 161 or 163 cc Brisbane Stratton engine. It's got a single speed transmission. It's got a blade brake clutch, a grass collector, plastic grass collector. Overall, it's a nice looking machine. So guys, how I'll, how I'll uh, do the video, I'll talk about the things I like, followed by the things I don't like about the machine, okay? So first of all, with the machine, we'll start at the bottom here, at the front of the machine. You've got quite grippy wheels. Well, look, I, I find there's no problem with the wheels. Um, you've got a 21-inch deck, as I say. You've got a rubberized kind of a grip here. I don't think it's meant for lifting the machine because the machine is 54 kg, so you wouldn't want to be lifting that on your own. But it's just in case you, you bang into a wall or a fence or anything like that. So moving on up, as I say, you've got a 160cc Briggs & Stratton engine. It starts first pull every time, no problem. I do hear you guys giving out the fuel tank is quite small. I kind of have found this myself with the few hours of use I've done. Um, it does definitely it does definitely run out a bit quicker than a, than a slightly larger tank, obviously. Um, there is an hour meter fitted to this machine. Look, this mightn't be relevant to you, but there was just under 26 hours reading on the meter. You can't read it there on camera, but there's 26 hours on the machine. Um, this has come from a good friend, a good friend of mine. Um, you can see his name there, Raymond Morgan from Morgan's Landscaping. He's on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Um, Raymond posted a lot of his machines and he's very lucky to have these nice machines. Um, so moving on up, we've got a single mono handle, I still call it, it's a mono handle. Um, look, I'll try to make the video shots I can guys so I won't ramble. Uh, the, the handle is quite strong, it offers, it offers good rigidity on the machine, it moves with the machine, there's nothing kind of moves on its own, it's good and strong. It does fold, it does fold here as you can see this button here, this tab. Um, it does fold into three different positions. So what we'll do, I'll show you the handle folded and I'll show you the three different heights. And we'll just make a quick note guys of something. I'm quite a tall uh, man, I'm more of a six foot. So when I'm using the machine, I do have to handle it the highest setting which is most comfortable for me. I do find this little flap here, which we'll get to in a minute, to tell you if there's room or not in the grass collector, or if it's full or empty. You can't see that from your user position here, okay? That's a small thing, right? So with four the handles, we just push this button down. We just push this button down. Sorry, now the, ca the camera is going off. And as you can see, like that, voila, it's folded. Good for storage. It doesn't come out beyond the, the front deck of the machine. I have been advised by the owner of this machine when the vehicle is in transport, in my pickup there, um, to keep the handle folded. It stops any play with the with the handle because it's a mono handle. So we just bring it back into position, and we run through the heights. So when you return the machine to its outright position, it goes to the highest setting. So we just go to the the next setting here. That's setting. That's the second setting. That's the set. That's the second lowest, and that's your lowest setting, which would be for quite a, a short user. So we just return to its normal position there. Also, guys, sorry now I'm an amateur at these videos, so I'm trying my best, guys. So bear with me. As you can see, you've got a six point height to cut on the deck or the blade, whichever. Um. 
I do find this, this can be quite finicky, this plastic thing here that can move up here further than it should. There's a little notch for it to stay in place. And this little notch here tells you what height it you on. So we're currently at number five. I think this machine goes from about 25 to 75 or 80 millimeters. It does actually cut quite high, I think, from what I've read online. It does cut quite high for a roller machine. I have seen other machines, such as the Weebanks, and the highest height it cut is approximately 63, maybe 65 millimeters. Um, on my own lands, personally, guys, they're all fortnightly. Most of them are fortnightly. And, um, you know, you, they put in a lot of growth this time of year. And a machine that'll only cut 60 mil, the highest setting, you know, it might be ideal. Um... So we move on to the control panel here, the cockpit as some people call it. I just move my ear defenders there. Cheap and cheerful ear defenders when I don't want to listen to music, I use them. So the thing guys, this machine as I say has a blade brake clutch. That's how you start the machine, you push it down, you pull your pull cord. As I say it'll start first turn, first pull, most of the time anyway. All the time I've pulled it, it starts first pull. We turn to run position and let your off position. Back down to choke and back down to back up to run. The thing about this uh, machine, guys, I just come around here so you can see your handles are switched around. Um, now, I know this video is not about a wee bang, but I just jumped quickly to one of my wee bangs here. On the front here is your laid brake clutch. On the rear is your drive handle. This machine is the opposite. On the rear is your dead man's handle, which is a blade brake clutch. You have that handle forward. And you engage this little, this little thing here. You pull that towards you when the handle is engaged towards the handlebar, the main handlebar. And that will that will start your blades. Here is your drive lever at the front. That's your drive lever. As I say, it's a single speed machine, guys. Now also, guys, um, I do find with this machine on bumpy ground, like I'm here in rural Ireland, a lot of lands are bumpy, including my own. Most lands, most of my viewers will be in probably under UK. You will see that you know a lot of lands are bumpy and they're mossy and they're full of weeds. They're not the most ideal lands, but look, you take what you're given. And um, I do find the BBC, which is a blade brake clutch, obviously your dead man's lever. I do find that disengages with the slightest bump. And if I'm honest, guys, I find it extremely annoying. I do find it a big issue. I thought it was just me that I wasn't used to levers. And I really thought about what I was doing when I was cutting lawn, a lawn. And I, I, I held it really tight like this and she's still disengaging. Um, let me see. The grip on the, mich on the, on the handlebars here. I have heard other guys saying, I think Greg's mowing. He's over in England, in the UK. I've heard him saying, that, or him and other guys saying that the, the handles are not the most comfortable. Um, you know they are quite they are quite thin. There's there's no grip on them, and the grip here on the main handlebar is quite sparse. There isn't much grip. I personally haven't found it to be a huge issue, guys. But to be honest, again, that's probably because I've only used the machine for just over two hours, right? Um, so we've covered them on a handle. We've covered the folding. We move on to the grass collector, guys. So you've got a seventy liter grass bin or grass box grass collector. It's not a grass bag anyway, it's a grass box, we'll say. It's made of plastic. And um, we move on to the build coil here in a second. I'll talk about that. I just want to talk about this first. So you've got a, a plastic rear flap. It doesn't bend, like the metal ones bend on other brands of machines. Some of the wee bangs have a uh, metal rear deflector, some of them have plastic. My machines there the red one has a plastic the uh, shaft drive pro, the green one has a re uh, metal rear deflector, rear flap, whatever you call it. Whatever you want to call it, guys. So that's perfect. The handle or the the box disengages like that. It's quite simple, very simple to to to, to operate. It's a lot better than the Still RM five four five VR, which is the five series roller lawnmower. Uh, guys, I don't think I've spoken about that in this video because I've tried to make this video about five times and it's been nice all around me. So I have had to keep starting making the video even after 10 or 15 minutes. I've had to start and make the video again, which is very annoying. But anyway, just a brief note, guys. I did own a still RM545 VR 5 Series roller lawnmower, which was a 17-inch deck. Similar size engine with a variable speed drive. It had a ribbed rear roller. It was split. It was a plastic rear roller, 17-inch. Uh, I think it was a polypropylene or something deck. 
and I did have one major issue with that machine which sent it back to the dealers and I just I didn't bother with the machine after that I don't currently have a roller at the moment that machine was my first roller this was the first roller I ever used guys um after about a half an hour with this I did decide to buy the, the RM 545VR as I say and that didn't last very long I gave it back and I'm just using this machine now every so often just as practice and I just get to grips with stripes guys so we move on to the gas collector now as I say we have a plastic rear deflector we have a very wide rear chute which aids collection in the wet and just as a side note guys this machine cuts absolutely fabulously in wet grass it has a high lift blade coupled with the plastic rear collector even if it gets a bit dirty I think it does collect quite well it doesn't get as dirty as a fabric mesh bag and a lot easier to clean a stiff brush guys maybe a bit of chemicals easy chemicals nothing harsh you don't want to strip the paint and a power washer or a garden hose and it cleans beautifully so we look at the grass collector now so it is a 70 liter collector it's made of plastic as you can see we have a little lip here to sit that into the into the rear chute here guys it ensures that it, it just ensures that it's sitting into place properly that can be quite annoying if you want to fold the if you want to tip the gas into a bag without unfolding the actual mechanism of the box, the frame of the box, we move on to the folding part in a second. So that can be quite annoying. Um, I empty a lot of my uh, grass into kind of green sacks, kind of 250, 300 litre sacks rather than ton bags. They're easier to lift, guys. But that's getting away from the point. So you have a rear little deflector here, a little lip, or whatever you want to call it, a little tab. When that's up, that means there's, collect there's room in the grass collector. When that's down, it means the grass collector is full. There is no room and you need to empty the box by way of disengaging your BBC lever and emptying your grass collector, stopping the machine and emptying the grass collector, obviously, guys. It is full open, which I said we move on to, which we're now moving on to. So as you can see, little button here, if you want to call it a button. Um, it folds open like so. And it's a 70 litre box. It does hold a generous amount of gas, guys. It does hold a generous amount. It will pack it full even in slightly longer, wetter gas. Now, I haven't tried this machine on very long gas because that's not what it's made for. That's what the four wheelers and that's what the swimmer on the backpack blower is for. But just one thing with this, guys, you need to make sure it's clicked into place. You can easily fall into the, the false pretense that it's full, which it doesn't be full. So you need to push it down and then it's or inside the head you need to make sure that it's closed that your grass that your grass can't fall out or whatever you need to make sure it's closed properly so we put it back onto the machine oh just say also guys this machine stores on its backside i did say this in all the previous videos but as i say i had kept having to remake the videos and i'm not good with anything or anything yet i haven't looked into anything or anything yet so i'm just doing it manually However, what I want to say is this machine, this box, this collector, the bin, the collector st stands on its backside. If you have excess gas in the chute, if you accidentally overfill the collector, your chute will obviously fill and consequently or subsequently your deck will fill with gas, which you shouldn't let happen. But if the bit of gas gathers up in the chute, you can stand this on its backside on its rear end and pick the gas out of the chute and lift it into the collector which you cannot do with a fabric mesh bag which is on most machines look guys there is for and against for the plastic collectors i know it is yeah which are a big machine in england in the uk they do also have the plastic collectors um i think all things considered they're quite a good design um i'm just get on with the collector here guys you just need to be sure when you're putting it in that the lip, I just show you that the lip goes in first and then you sit down to the two hooks. So that's nearly it guys. Um, it's, look, it, it's an overall, it's a decent enough machine. Would I buy one? To be honest, no, I would not. Uh, the price point is very expensive. In Ireland, these machines are in excess of 2,000 euros. I feel that's too much if I'm honest, you know, the machine is quite similar to the RM655V and VS, which is the blade and nine blade clutch models, which are 21 inch four wheelers, which are quite similar. 
Oh, I'll just move on to the rear roller rods, I guess. I'm after forgetting that in this video. I'm going to move on to that in a minute. But, you know, they're quite similar to the four-wheelers. I don't think it justifies an extra 7,800 euros because the 655 V and VS are about 1,100 and 1,200 respectively. And, you know, it's a, it's a considerable, it's a significant increase just for a rear roller. But it does give that professional finish. Now, what I wanted to move on to there, guys, was just the, the rear roller. So on this machine, guys, and this is one problem I've had with it, I'll speak about now in a second. You've got a metal rear roller made of steel, right? It's a dual split rear roller. It has no grip in the weight, guys. It has no grip whatsoever in the weight. It is quite poor in the weight. That's one major gripe with this machine because I do caught in varying weathering conditions myself. And, you know, that's a bit of a problem. It doesn't have the grip that a four-wheeler or that a ribbed rear roller would have, like what was on the 5 Series roller. Now, it's not getting away from the fact that the 5 Series roller let me down and I got rid of it in the end. But just that's the point I wanted to make, guys. Um, it is a smooth rear roller, as I say. That's why it has no grip. It's smooth. It's not ribbed. There's no pattern on it. And, um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Um, and because she's dual split rear roller, it, it aids with turning. Turning is a lot easier with the with the roller. That makes it a lot easier. So I think that's nearly everything. As I say, will I buy one? No. Um, overall, they're a fairly decent machine to use. There's better out there, but look, horses for courses. Every brand has good and bad machines. Um, there are good points about it that have been well thought out. There's other points that are not so good, not so user-friendly. Uh, as I say, this machine had 24 hours when I got it. I've only done about two hours with it. So, look, maybe my maybe my review is not based on enough experience with the machine. But I have views on varying types of lawns. I feel like give an honest review. Um, so, I think that's it, guys. And um, I don't think I've missed anything. So, thanks for watching, guys. And hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you and have a great day. Cheers. Thanks, guys.